Hi guys! I've had some fun planting up some amaryllis bulbs. It couldn't be any easier. You just put the bulb, which is uh, starts out dormant. Um, usually by this time of year they start to sprout just a little bit so you can see them waking up. But once you plant it and keep it uh, moderately moist, keep an eye on the soil, um, but once it starts receiving water and light, it takes off in no time. My taller one I planted about 12 days ago, and up until today it's been rather floppy. But uh, it has put on a little bit of uh, thickness to the leaves, and now it's standing up much better. And then this little one back here I just planted up a couple days ago. Um, but it, it's noticeably taller every single day. So um, all you have to do is plant these bulbs and give them a little bit of light and water and they will reward you by some fast growth and eventually beautiful blooms. This was, the taller one was from last year and it went dormant and I just stored it in a dry area out of the sunshine just in, in the dark and I replanted it 12 days ago. And um, this one was a new one, which was, was a gift from my friend. Actually, they were both gifts. So uh, in a few days, I'll tune back in, and we'll keep an eye on the progress. I expect them to grow rather fast. So about a week later, I've got much stronger growth on my old bulb, the one that had bloomed last year. So it's finally standing up. One leaf actually broke off because it was so thin and wispy, but these seem to be getting a little strength to them. So I'm hoping that a bloom will start coming up. But the exciting thing is the new one has a bloom coming up. It's got an amaryllis bloom looks nice and strong. Look at that guys, the leaves are a little taller, but the most exciting part is this bud that's coming up. So it's been about seven or eight days since the last update, and I will continue to update on this for you. I just, it seems to be taking its sweet time, but it looks as if maybe I will get a flower out of this one. It's January 6th. It's a little bit of a gray day, so I hope you can see how the amaryllis bulbs are doing. The one on the left has yet to show any signs of putting up a bud, so it looks like it's spending all its energy on making leaves, and the leaves have thickened up. The one on the right has grown quite tall, um, and the leaves are still quite small down here, so it's doing exactly the opposite. This is the new one that was gifted to me this year, and as you can see, there's going to be a beautiful bloom. Uh, I, I can hopefully expect a nice flower in uh, a short time, I hope. But um, we'll have to see. This one may never put up a bloom, but um, I'm going to remain hopeful. But at least it's growing, and I know it's still alive. Um, and I didn't follow any instructions on how to store it or anything. I just let it dry out in its dirt last year. And that's how it stayed uh, until I decided to start watering it again. But here we go, guys. The one on the right is looking promising. Okay, so it's January 9th, and we have big progress here. On the one that was putting up the bud, it looks as if all of the flowers are starting to emerge. So I'll be excited to show you what that looks like in just a few days. So it definitely looks like we're having success with the new amaryllis bulb. And again, we'll have to see what happens to this one. So far it's still just foliage. Maybe it's just going to be a late bloomer. Today is January 10th, and we have one flower open on the amaryllis, and I'm seeing what a gorgeous color this is. It's like a, a corally pink, so I am very excited that one has opened. It's a little bit hard to see in this afternoon light, but I expect in another day or two they'll all be blooming, and this is so exciting. So exciting to have blooms in the middle of winter. It's January 12th and the amaryllis are in full bloom. 
I've got four big flowers on this beautiful amaryllis bulb that my friend Lori gave me. And uh, it is such a thrill to have these glorious blooms in the middle of winter. Look at how pretty they are. I'm going to try to get closer in so you can see the detail of the flower. But it's just a magnificent color. I'm so thrilled with this. This is going to be so nice to enjoy while it's blooming. And um, I, you know, I have to look into how to store these after the blooms fade because I really didn't have luck with the other one. So let me show you the other one which I have replanted. And here's the amaryllis bulb that I had last year that I replanted around the same time as that wonderful blooming one. So obviously I didn't store it correctly and it didn't get good signals. But look, it's just all foliage. And uh, I will certainly let you know if it does decide to send up a bloom. I guess I should be happy that it is still alive. But I'll have to look into how you store them and get them to rebloom. So guys, if you have any tips on that, let me know because I now have two amaryllis bulbs that I'm going to need to store for next year. So once this one stops blooming, I'll want to store that as well. But wow, what a display. I am so thrilled. I hope you can see how the light is shining through that color. It is, it is just a spectacular flower. I'm not sure that this morning light is the best best light for filming, but I wanted to film it at its peak. Isn't that spectacular? So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. And it took a while, but here we go. Got beautiful blooms.